is Pat Meyer Johnson at Converge at Pieros, and here at this conference, it's all about getting audio and video from here to there, either across countries, from my uh, continent to continent, or from one room to another. Now we're talking about getting it from your PC to your TV and beyond. And we are here talking to Safi Qureshi, who is CEO of uh, Cortex. And uh, Safi, tell us what PC to TV is. I think if you look at the most popular device that people are using today to consume media, whether they're getting it from their digital camera, whether they're getting from their camcorder, or connecting to internet, going to YouTube or Google Video, all that content comes and stops at your PC. But the most popular device at home is a television. And what we are trying to do is solve this 10-foot problem, allowing you the total freedom. Anything you can do and watch and enjoy on your PC, how do you take it to your large screen TV wirelessly in a very low cost solution? That's excellent because that makes it more of a family experience. It's no longer just one person looking at one screen, right? You're absolutely right. If you look at so many people with different parts of the world in the U.S. alone, there is more than a million Japanese, two million Korean Americans, and there is so much sports that is available and the content available only on the internet. And you want to share that content not just on your PC, but with your family. And today there is no easy way to do that. And Quartex is enabling that with our software running on the PC and a chip attached to the display that will allow them to enjoy this any kind of content, sports, ethnic content, or breaking news. But it's not just a chip that's on the TV and your PC, but it's doing this with no connection, right? Yeah, we are leveraging on the wireless. 85 million laptops would be sold this year. All of them have 11G built in. So we are leveraging on everything that's inside a PC to allow you to enjoy it on your favorite device at home, which is a TV. What else do you have up your sleeve? We are developing other products that will allow a PC to do even more. Full screen video conferencing, Skype has become so popular. So our next trip would allow you to do video conferencing and still extend the battery life. One of the challenges with laptops is the power consumption, especially if you're doing media application. So with our next chip, the laptop manufacturers would be able to benefit to do a lot more media processing, converting video from your camcorder to your iPod, everything, and still save a lot of battery. And certainly uh, today with the carbon credits and the awareness of the energy, and uh, this, is a, this is a very important issue. So tell me about your architecture. How do you do it? I mean, I don't want you to give away any secrets here, but how do you do it? I think we had a very strong technical team. We have many patterns, and we looked at the video problem, HD problem, from a different point of view. We see so many different formats coming, so we wanted to design a chip that can handle PowerPoint, word processing, or MPEG-2, MPEG-4, 26, any new format. And that is really the key that allows a young company to come up with a breakthrough technology and as the market is emerging, so we were fortunate at the right time, and we are working with leading PC companies, leading television companies to help them allow this capability. Fantastic.